Hey guys, I'm here on location. This is just for a test. I'm at a client's warehouse where it's allowed me to come and do a few tests and um, showcase the MetQuest 3 and Contour app for projection for murals, artworks. This works on flat planes, doesn't work on multifaceted surfaces, It'll work on windows, work outdoor, indoor, no restrictions on height, size, as far as I'm aware. I've not tested to its full limitations. Uh, I'm just testing to the extent of where it used to break in a previous version. So what we'll do is we'll go to the Contour app, we'll open it up. As you can see, that's the old version with the, um, the boundaries. In the version I'm testing today, there's no boundaries. So what I'll do is I'll go to Artwork. And in Artwork, you've got Picture Library, which are the ones default within the software, or you've got the imported ones, which you've loaded onto the headset, uh, your own artwork as a PNG, minimum of 1024 by 1024 pixels. I tend to go four times, so 4096 by 4096. Saved as a PNG on a transparent background and then loaded onto the headset. Various different ways to load it onto the headset. You can use um, SideQuest, you can use Dropbox, a um, few other ways uh, around it. Right, so I'll go to Artwork. This is the artwork that I've loaded onto the headset. This was created in Adobe Illustrator. Just typed in to the AI generative vector. So I wanted a, an octopus playing cards, and this is what it threw back at me. So I thought I'd use this as an example. It's quite a good one. So as this being the example of artwork, I'll choose position. You choose which headset you're using. I'm using the Quest 3, so we'll click on that. And the prompt is to get your controller, put it against your flat plane, and then click on the ring that aligns uh, to the surface. So get the controller, put it against the surface, click on the pin button, which brings up this lovely targeted grid system, which can kind of get central and straight. And once you've, you're happy, you just release the pin button and it drops your artwork straight onto the surface so now it's on the surface it's obviously going to need some adjustments to get it right so we'll go to the scale uh, and on the scale a quick way of getting it to a size is you grip the inner um, triggers and just open and expand to however big you want so there's obviously the size now we can go stupid I mean that is just crazy absolutely crazy no size restrictions uh, and as you can see because of the um the high vector file that i use there's not really much loss on pixelation and got, still got some nice quite sharp edges so i'll bring that back down so that's about a right size now obviously it's not in the correct position, so if we go back to position, I can then use the joysticks to move, to scale, and then to pin. So I'll move it across and get it central and down. It's quite slow this part. So there is another way, you can go back to position and you can just manually click it in again, a different spot. I'll keep the size the same. Right, move it across and get it central. Like I say, it's quite slow this part, um, but for fine adjustments it's perfect um, you don't want it to move too fast um, and that would be quite frustrating so I'm happy with this because you can get a really good sale I think that's about right so in position correct scale next thing that we will go to is the adjustments 
Ports vertical, which means across a vertical plane that we're on, it will keep it 100% straight. So I'll click on that. Straighten means pivot around the center point. So whether it's tilted one way or the other, if I go to straighten, it's corrected it so that it's completely vertical now. Um, force horizontals for ceilings or floors. Reset rotation generally puts the image back to where you first imported it. So that would not work. And reset depth, the depth I do manually. So we've got rotation and depth here. I can rotate the image and I can create the depth here. For the depth, what I tend to do is I'll put the control against the uh, highest point of the surface and then just bring the image forward until it starts to touch on the control as you can see there and then you know you're on your surface so that looks pretty good I'm just going to take a step back so no restrictions on boundaries like I say you can walk as far back as you like as close as you like left and right up and down all tested no failures on the images being lost and so the next thing we go to now is the draw function now when you click on the draw it locks the image in position and pins it and it asks you to put down the controller that you're not going to use because um, you're going to need a marker pencil chalk whatever way you want and then we go to the draw part now you've got a couple of things here you've got the opacity which you can increase or lower so that you can see through and then you've also got a flash button that toggles the image on and off which is really helpful too and then it's just a case of quickly going round and you can see how simple and quick this will be the image is always there because not you're not blocking a projection which is another massive thing for me the scale is really great it means you don't have to move a projector back you're not limited by how far back your projector can go you're not limited as to the how close you can get uh, I just think it's the solution moving forward until something else comes I can't see anything better for my line of work and my workflow so the only other things you've got is you've got a few options for your RGB colors you've got the camera brightness contrast and camera opacity and you've got the tips you've got the directions now to import your artwork and you've got feedback to the dev uh, as you can see, this is version 0.6.6, .6, which removes all boundaries and restrictions. 0.6.5 is the one that people are having problems with, with um, boundaries moving away and getting close to the image. Also side to side and, more importantly, an 8 foot restriction and a 2.4 meter restriction on the height and depth. Now you don't get that. I could go up to the ceiling here, I can drop to the floor and the image will not be lost. Um, so apart from testing out really large spaces, working off of a, a scissor lift or a boom lift, which I don't think there will be a problem with, I can see no other issues with this version moving forward. So with that, I'll leave it for now and um, I think that kind of wraps up this part. Thank you.